Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how you can flash the sonar phasing with the new Tesmatizer. Let's start. First, you need to navigate to the Tesmatizer release page using the link below. Uh, for PC user, you can download uh, the PC files. For Mac, sadly, you have to download the source code, which I'm going to show you shortly how you can install on, on a Mac. Now, similarly, using the link provided in the description, uh, navigate to the Python 3 uh, page and install the Mac OS 64-bit installer. Uh, this will install the necessary program for the Tasmatizer to run. So click on it and uh, wait for the download. The next thing to download is Tasmoda. Uh, using the link in the description, navigate to the release page and download the Tasmoda bin. Again, you can download any uh, language you like. Next, um, you gotta run and install Python, the package that you've just um, downloaded. So, uh, just install. And uh, what this does is in, in install Python 3 onto your Mac system, uh, which you need to you need it to run Tasmoda. Okay, this part of the installation, I'm gonna show you how you can go about. Um, double click on the files, the zip file that you have, you have uh, downloaded and uh, unzip. Within it, you will see. Uh, a readme file, double click and the installation instruction is all here so for Mac user we are gonna go with the second option so what we need to do is to open spotlight and uh, type in terminal so uh, get terminal open all you need to do now is to copy over this bit of instruction. Uh, I have already installed the program, so uh, it will say that uh, my required requirements are already satisfied, but your, your, the program should start uh, installing on your side. And once uh, that is done, you can basically start Tasmatizer. Now uh, you need to leave the terminal running. If you close it, uh, Tasmatizer will close. Yeah, for this next part, uh, first you need to have the FD232. Uh, you need the driver for this for PC user and Mac user. You do not need the driver if you have previously installed. Please uh, follow the instruction below to remove. Yeah, connect the the ground furthest away from this pin. The ground furthest away. Just uh, follow this uh, upcoming drive diagram. And um, I will usually loop a rubber band uh, around the cable so that there's always tension on here, so that no uh, soldering is required for this. Okay, once uh, that is done, while holding do down the, the pin, you insert the sonar into the laptop. Okay, once you have the USB plugged into your computer, click on refresh. You should be able to see that the USB is selected. Uh, open and select the bin file that you've download downloaded, the Tasmoda bin file you downloaded in the earlier stages. You can choose to backup original firmware if you want. Now, I always erase before flashing uh, so that I can skip to the later version without having to um, upgrade according to the different stages. Now, once that is done, uh, you can click Tasmatize.
Okay, we will speed this up a bit, yeah. So once that's done, once that's done, uh, you can of course power cycle your device. Okay, right now we have done the flashing of the Sonoff Basic Switch. Uh, please click on the link below, and I will have a video to uh, teach you how to set it up using the AP mode.